photo. It'll keep my mum happy. HMS Northumberland is a cutting-edge Royal Navy frigate. Red 150. Inbound, height 180 feet. Where 200 sailors live and work. Hi, Jacob. Hello, Chloe. This is Daddy speaking. Heading to the Arctic Circle. Oh, wow. Absolutely stunning. In some of the worst conditions imaginable. It's getting continually smashed by waves. It was unsafe. Frankly. We've got to get on top of it. Worst cases, things could explain. Our cameras have been given access to HMS Northumberland's secret four-month deployment. <laughs> at a time of unprecedented pressure from the Russian military. The Russian Bear is uh, inbound at Red 160. It's a big, big ass aircraft. I hold one Russian surface vessel at the bearing of 275. Northumberland must defend the UK from enemies who are visible. She is a strange looking ship. And hidden. We're side by side, no. we're submarine guys, but we are V close. If we go to war, quite simply, it's too late. And the crew must protect each other. How are you all feeling? Doesn't make you any less of a sailor. We have taken aboard our ship. What? From the perils of life at sea. Cassidy, Cassidy, Cassidy! It's early September, and HMS Northumberland is in port. Morning. Right. Morning. Morning, team. 39 year old Tom Hobbs is the ship's captain. I've been at sea for most of my career and I love it. Post tricks. This is where I spend most of my time. And people are in and out of here every 15 minutes, every 20 minutes. I don't think I ever dreamed of being a captain. When I was selected, there was a wow. And I soon realised I was going to be the bloke that everyone else expects to know the answer. Tom's been in charge of Northumberland for just over a year. Oh, I'm by myself quite a lot of the time. It can be lonely and, yeah, you just have to accept it. I belong to the ship and the ship belongs to me and that's the way it goes as a captain. I have three children, so I have three sets of duvets. I've got a Paw Patrol, I've got a Sharks and... I have the stars. My children picked to them, so they know that every week I'll be sleeping under one of their duvets. My kids, they're proud of me, but they also hate the fact that I go away. Right, did they get the Ford gangway um, open? It's less than four hours until departure. Is this all counted? Am I just standing here doing nothing? You're counting it, Roger. Happy. 28-year-old Megan Burgoyne has been waiting for the last of the food supplies to arrive. The stores arrived a little bit later than we had hoped. We'll get all available working hands to come down to move the stores from the jetty onto the ship. I'm so excited. I want to get, like, in amongst the action. Coming on board today are 10,000 sausages, half a ton of salad leaves, 66,000 tea bags, and enough baked beans to fill 50 bathtubs. Spinach. How much have you ordered, mate? Is this a wind-up? Spinach has got about a shelf life of an hour. We're limited by our space. So it's got no quicker or more efficient way to do this than physically just manhandle it into, into the fridges. Have we get on? As the deputy logistics officer, Megan helps run a team of 40 people, responsible for keeping the ship and the crew fully supplied. Is it all in? Put it all on, yeah. OK. Go for a lot of milk. I reckon we go for about eight litres a day. I did OK at school. I wasn't particularly brilliant. I was very shy. The idea of going to sea was always a bit exciting. Do we do white cabbage? Uh, yeah, that's that. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm hearing things, sorry. I'm not from a naval background, so nothing prepared me for what the Navy was going to be. There's a spinach that we didn't want. <laughs> 
It's definitely exciting. This is my mess. 20-year-old Sahil James is a brand new recruit. I'm guessing this is my bed. It's told middle bunk. HMS Northumberland is the first warship he's ever called home. Honestly, I was not expecting it to be big, but I was not expecting it to be this small. I'm going to have to make it work. I just hope I don't fall out. I'm going to try. <laughs> it's pretty cosy, you know. Perfect fit. <laughs> I'm a bit excited. I am from St Vincent and the Grenadines. I grew up in a, I would say, small, tranquil village. Sahil only passed basic training a few weeks ago. This will be his first taste of life at sea. I'm nervous because I don't know what to expect. I'm physically prepared, but I'm, I don't think I'm quite mentally prepared because I, 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 I've never been on a ship, so it's all new to me. At the end of the day, you're in the military, so anything could happen. With just a few minutes until departure, the crew have been told to gather for an important mission briefing from the captain. The main reason I've got you all together now is um, what are we about to go and do? So we're about to go to the North Sea and we're going to be faced with the Russians. We don't decide when the Russians deploy, we don't get to decide what route they're doing, we don't get to decide the weather in which they do it in, and we will find them. HMS Northumberland's been given urgent orders to head north in response to a new threat. Spy satellites have just spotted a large number of Russian warships heading towards the UK. It's the latest sign of increased Russian activity in British waters, and the captain has been ordered to intercept them. We will get one opportunity to get it right. The Russians who are deploying against us are as good as or better than us. I need you to bring your A game. We have a responsibility towards our country to do our job right. There's no one backing us up. One chance, one opportunity, and we need to be at the right place, right time, and we need to seize it. Thank you very much, cheers, team. It's really, like, exciting and a bit frightening, because, like, you don't know what's going to happen, you don't know what to expect, so, like, a bit of a mixed feeling. It's definitely going to be hard work. It's going to be a busy time. We don't know what's coming, but we're ready to go. Is it the right time? It's meant to be on the right. OK. With supplies finally loaded... I don't think it's going to fit. It's too big. Oh, HMS Northumberland is ready to cast off. Clear low deck of all personnel to the flight deck. Procedure Alpha. Well, listen in then. Easy, just gotta stand there. Alright? She's the Excited to get away now. It's just good to, to finally be on our way. Bye. The captain has the ship. Slow ahead, starboard. I can't believe this is the last time I've seen land for a while. That's our sailed. We can start to get really focused into what we're going to be doing. The mission to the North Sea comes at a time of unstable relations with Russia. There are Russian ships off the UK. If, God forbid, things were to go warlike, 
the Royal Navy is ready to respond to that. Russia's intentions are unclear, but their warships are advancing. It's Northumberland's job to stop them. It's 7 a.m. The Navy alarm clock has just gone off, which I cannot stand. I will wake up two minutes earlier so I don't have to listen to that piercing shriek. HMS Northumberland is on her way to the North Sea, where Russian warships have been spotted heading towards British waters. Ah, CS James. Uh -huh. That was handy. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Sahil is being given a tour of his new home. How's your day been? My day was all right. I was yeah. settling in all right. Settling? Yeah. Mm -hmm. all right. He needs to learn his way around the ship's eight decks. Male junior rate showers in there. Oh. Well acquainted. And will be one of 80 men to share these five cubicles. It's not too bad. I can work with this. <laughs> So we've just got the laundry down here. As you can see. Oh, nice. You'll have your laundry bag. Shove it in there. Little and often is better than accumulating everything. One laundry man handles over a thousand items of clothing each day. Our laundry man is super good, so it'll be turned around in 24 hours. Oh, nice. The galley, please go ahead. It's going to be your home 24 7. The chefs will give you a pretty intense brief of how everything runs in here for your day-to-day -day job. Sahil's never worked in a kitchen before, but he's now one of the ship's nine chefs, responsible for making over 600 meals a day. It's a lot bigger than, like, in um, RWE, so I reckon it's going to be a bit different. Different ballpark, working out the, just the physical movement. I don't even know if I'm going to be seasick yet. So. You don't know if you'll get seasick uh, no. yet. Uh, there's no shame in it, everybody gets seasick. Uh, there's a lot to take in. He's obviously thinking about his job in the galley. He's thinking about how he's going to cope in his personal time. It's certainly nothing to be scared of because everybody does find their feet. Everything seems all right. I think I would be able to cope with what I've seen so far. I'm going to be in the showers a lot because I like taking showers, so let's hope the water is warm. Yeah. Lots of dead sailor skin. 56 year old Darren Wallington is the oldest on board. As the ship's sea daddy, my job is to make sure that the ship's a happy ship. So you've got a few things to do tonight, all right? So get somebody to give you a hand, so you with the events, all right? As the executive warrant officer, he's responsible for the welfare and discipline of the sailors. It's my job to know everybody, and I do. Looks like somebody's sleeping with a dead animal. That's his, that's his bedding. Love it. I do, I, uh, you know. I, it's just a great job. Let's get in. All right, let's get in. One of Darren's not-so-great jobs is sorting through the rubbish. A mountain of gash. The crew generate up to a ton of waste a day. Separating the recycling is one of the dirtiest jobs on board. This is just what's built up. So we'll smash through some. Rocky! Food. Why am I getting food waste? The unwanted food should be thrown overboard, but not everyone follows the rules. There was a ton of shite in there. If there's anything that's not food contaminated, he says, should go in there. There you go, it's starting, starting to go now. So, say at the moment. Yet. An alarm has just gone off in an engine compartment. Who found that? Who found the engine? I'll tell you in a second. It's right next to crucial machinery. 
You've got to presume the worst that it's a fuel fire. But the fire teams are struggling to get to it. No foam blanket has been laid yet. Right. They're in. No fire. No fire. No fire. And within minutes, they've got it under control. On here, you've got high explosives, highly flammable fuels, uh, high voltage electricity, pressurized systems. Add on that, 200 sailors, and we've got no, no, nowhere to go and nobody to come and rescue us. That's why it's so dangerous. Right, OK, team, just wanted to chat to you about the stuff that we've been asked to do. We've had some intelligence come in. We'll be going to meet HMS Queen Elizabeth. HMS Northumberland is sailing north to intercept Russian warships heading for the UK. It's become clear their target is the Royal Navy's flagship, aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth, currently stationed off the east coast of Scotland. Russian boats are working in the vicinity. Unsurprisingly, we don't want their enemies coming near to HMS Queen Elizabeth. We should be prepared to push back against Russian aggression and, and demonstrate that there's a boundary and there's rules. Our role will be vital, so we need to get there as soon as possible. The Russians are likely to be trying to gather intelligence on HMS Queen Elizabeth. Thank you very much. If you have no questions, I'll leave you to it. Cheers. Thanks, I would never underestimate the Russian Navy. The danger is if you let them collect intelligence, you never know which little piece helps to inflict cost against the UK. So you need to stop them. Northumberland is still 300 miles away from HMS Queen Elizabeth. She needs to get there before the Russians. something new today. It's Tuesday night in the galley. Is it just like doing Papa Don? Uh, I'll show you. Let the fire get to temperature. Start. It's Sahil's first full shift as a chef, and tonight is leftover night. Ooh, now that looks like pork belly. What sauce are they putting on it? Uh, marinade. The team are preparing two types of curry, but as the most junior chef in the galley, Sahil's role is limited to just helping out. I don't have much experience with cooking. I've never really used to cook in the kitchen until I joined the Navy. The most cooking I did would be with my grandmother, just a little bacon or frying chicken or something like that. It's just minutes until service. 200 hungry sailors need to be fed in under an hour. This is when you're starting to rush to get everything out on the counter. Make sure everything looks nice. <gasps> it is time to open. If the counter is not open on the time, they're going to have people screaming at you. Oh, this is just mind blowing for me. The Navy has been short of chefs and recruited Sahil straight from school in the Caribbean earlier this year. Ever since I was growing up, people around my village would have family members who are in the Navy, so they would come and say, oh, it's great. And after I keep hearing it all the time, I was like, yeah, why not? Let me just see what it's about. And I get in touch with my culinary skills, if I have any. Go absolutely feast it. Yeah, it's good. Definitely come around again. Just have to keep on top of everything now. Good stuff. <laughs> you 
We've got the QE's course and speed. Ready going to zero. HMS Northumberland is just minutes away from rendezvousing with HMS Queen Elizabeth. The Russians are still nowhere to be seen. How far away is she now? Uh, QE is 1.7, sir. Wow. She's a big ship. Yeah. It's a big ship. <laughs> Northumberland is one of eight Royal Navy warships who've been asked to protect HMS Queen Elizabeth ahead of the most important naval exercise in over a decade. Revolution 9-0, check As you can imagine, bringing eight ships around Queen Elizabeth, it's quite a uh, delicate dance. We're going to be 500 yards away on her starboard bow. Added to that, we have got Three and a half to four metres worth of swell going on. Attention to drive in before turn back onto base floor. Yes, please. Northumberland must now position herself less than 500 metres from HMS Queen Elizabeth to help build a ring of steel around the carrier. But sailing this close to another warship comes with huge risk. The very worst thing that happens is I could drive into QE and one of us has a very bad day. Bearing 293. Range 800 yards. Next port clear visually. Port 25, stay 074. She's doing 008, so don't go too quick. Bearing 304. Here we go. Here we go. Warships usually stay at least two miles from each other to avoid collisions. Range, range. 480 yards. It's the first time I've come this close to Queen Elizabeth. Well done, team. Thank you. Northumberland is in position. Joining one of the most powerful naval fleets Britain has ever assembled. First escort in position. We have brought ourselves into within 500 yards of the carrier. We are where we need to be. And they're ready for whenever the Russians arrive. Make sure you got your sleeves up, watches off. Below decks, Iwo Darren has an unexpected surprise for the crew. Drug testing is now in force on HMS Northumberland. Personnel advise not to consume excessive amounts of fluids during this time. They're going to make a flower pot for this. <laughs> <isn't they? laughs> the entire ship's company are being tested for drugs. Stand that side so you don't stop people going up. Well, each person, when they give their sample, have to be escorted by somebody to make sure that they give a clean sample and no funny business goes on. So each person gets escorted by a willy watcher. Twelve sailors volunteer to willy watch to ensure the samples aren't tampered with. He likes the willy watch. <laughs> You're next. You're next. Great job. <laughs> Great. Guinness, that is, mate. But producing a sample on demand can take some encouragement. Oh, you can do it. Can you do a little wee for the Ewo? <laughs> I've been doing this for 34 years. Get out! Get out! <laughs> I am that focal point for discipline. And it's a very important cog in making sure the whole machine works. A long day, Wendy. Had a long day. <laughs> Oh. Is this the key? Even the captain must take the test. I'm going to wait until I absolutely need to go for a wee. <laughs> and then, like my son, I'll do a little wee dance. Where are we going? See your head. This is not very dignified. Light straw colour, that's what they need, isn't it? Yeah. Uh... If anyone fails the test, the consequences will be severe. You can't use drugs in the Royal Navy, it's not compatible with service life. And if anyone's got stuff inside them that they shouldn't, they'll be discharged. The results are due back in 48 hours. Well, 
Officer Watch AC, you have 997 ship as door out. Northumberland has received new military intelligence. The ring of steel around HMS Queen Elizabeth has been spotted by the Russians, and their warships have scattered. All positions, Pivo. Revised Command Aim. Command Aim is to support Queen Elizabeth. Speeds up to 28 knots prior to environment subsurface. Positioned at the front of the fleet, Northumberland's crew has been ordered to alert the other ships to any other threats. New contact reported. The team in the ops room has just picked up a suspicious vessel 14 miles ahead of them. Suspect 2378, opposition, surface investigation. Give us two seconds. Whoever it is, is masking their identity from Northumberland's radar. Unknown, bearing 275 range, 10 and a half nautical miles, all reports group round one. UAT! Here we're copying suspect 2378 remains. It's coming closer. ESM holds one racket. All positions P row, unknown, 6762, bearing 276 range, 10 nautical miles. Suspect vessel closing for contact of uh, Queen Elizabeth. And it's on an intercept course with HMS Queen Elizabeth. No one is to leave the ops room. HMS Northumberland is at the head of the fleet, guarding the Royal Navy's flagship, HMS Queen Elizabeth. Unknown 6762, bearing 276, range 10 knots miles. In the ops room, Lydia Ato is under pressure to identify a mystery vessel less than 10 minutes ahead of them. All reports, group by one. Let's have somebody closed up on the cameras now. It's hiding its identity from Northumberland's radar. But it's just come into view of the ship's long-range cameras. I hold one Russian surface vessel at the bearing of 275 at 10 nautical miles. Hands to action stations, hands to action stations. They've just identified the vessel as Russian. Bridge, MCO, SEC, ops room acknowledge. OK, all positions, contact visual. She is a strange-looking ship. We're looking at a Russian uh, intelligence ship. The reason the Russians were hiding has become clear. It's the Viktor Leonov, a military spy ship. The Russian ship will be full of really kind of sensitive listening equipment. Effectively, what it could do is it could hoover up any kind of electronic emission from this ship. Do we want them to find out everything that we can do? No. Do I work quite hard to protect some of my information? Yes, absolutely. How far away is she now? Like three nautical miles. The Viktor Leonov is getting closer. At just over three miles from HMS Queen Elizabeth, Royal Navy secrets are at risk. I need to do something about the fact that um, they might be in a position to start hacking our phones or start intercepting what we're saying. Uh, you'll be aware of the presence of a Russian AGI up to the northeast of us, uh, and I've instructed the RPO uh, to go around uh, and make sure that we are collecting in mobile phone SIM cards. Shutting down communications will cut Northumberland off from the outside world. My well, lads, SIM cards, please. Thank you. Get them all in. I need them as soon as possible. Foggy's getting up to do his. Leaky is here. It's just weird for me because, like, I've never like experienced anything like this. We're gonna go um, calm silence. In nine months of being in the navy, Sahil hasn't gone a day without contacting his mum. 
This is an old picture of me and my mum. My parents are pretty proud, like, they're really, really proud. They always talk about me, like, they go to, like, dinner or something, they'll be like, oh, yeah, my son is in the Navy, yay. <laughs> My mum is currently in the hospital. She had a surgery on her back. I'm not there to, like, take care of her. I can't even message you just to check on her. Without his phone, he has no way of finding out how his mum's operation went. It's kind of hard to, like, work and not knowing that everything is all right. <sighs> Captain, can you um, just pop up the CDT results for him, please? Thanks. The captain has just received a secure message. Come on in. It's been 48 hours since the whole crew were tested for drugs. The results for CDT are coming, uh, and we have two individuals both tested positive for cocaine, so we'll have to go through the process tonight of me informing them, me giving their initial interview, and then I think my intention is to land them. Obviously, I don't want either of them on board. I'll let the team know. Administrative discharge. Are you happy for the ship's company to know? Uh, we'll need to tell the individuals first. Tell the individuals first. And my gut feeling is that everyone will know in about 20 seconds. They need to know. It's yeah. the whole purpose of it. Um, it is. The terrorist so the warming. Cheers, thanks. Yeah, thank you very much. The two sailors will be taken ashore as soon as possible. Every year, you have to go to a lecture where you're told that you're not allowed to take drugs in the Royal Navy. How do I feel about it? Frustrated, mainly. Um, disappointed. You know, they've gone from having a career, possibly for the rest of their life, to looking down the barrel of unemployment. The guilty sailors are being airlifted back to base where they'll receive their discharge papers. He's gone. He left. He's gone. He's gone. Their friends are only just finding out. You could get away with it. should be a civilian right now. Yeah. Zero tolerance. I used to be that you'd get away with it, but now it's... I've lost about five mates for it. I've lost two now, yeah. You're not gonna... You're not getting out of that one? No. So, swing ready? All right. Is lonely enough as it is at the best of times. I mean, I've been doing this for 21 years, but still, still there are days when you just want to go home. Several hours into the communications blackout, it's beginning to have an impact on the crew, even the captain. When I speak to the kids, sometimes they ask me, or oh, you know, whose duvet set have you got on today, Daddy? And I tell them whichever one it is. And it just reduces some of the separation anxiety that kids can have when their parents go to sea. Being away has never got easier. I miss my wife and kids. No one made us do this life. Um, but it can ask a lot from you. Port 35, altering 160. As we come round, keep a good look out on the AGI. The Russian spy ship Viktor Leonov is less than three miles away from HMS Northumberland. Just give us an indie band navigation radar. In the ops room, the team has just received an update from HMS Queen Elizabeth. Ship's head reads 102, 11 knots log. Uh, Viktor Leonov is two and a half miles to the east, Queen Elizabeth two and a half miles to the west. She's going to start flying operations in about 40, 45 minutes. 
Um, we've been directed to maintain the position between the two uh, to make sure she can't close the QE whilst they start those flying operations and disrupt that. HMS Queen Elizabeth can't launch her jets if the Russians get any closer. The eyes of the whole fleet are now on Northumberland as she tries to stop them. Further right, the better, really, sort of the ideal is 040. Attention, ultra starboard. HMS Northumberland is trying to hold back the Russian spy ship Viktor Leonov so HMS Queen Elizabeth can begin vital flying operations. ACP, we're coursing speed will be 040, speed 10. Make sure we position ourselves no closer than two miles to the Russian and then uh, close no closer than one mile to the Queen Elizabeth. Operations officer Lydia Ato is tracking the Russians' every move. Assess altering background to course of uh, 310, help us uh, in between the AGI and Queen Elizabeth. We're trying to put ourselves in a position to prevent QE becoming vulnerable. As we position ourselves between, by doing that, we form a barrier. Steer 070. By sailing between HMS Queen Elizabeth and Viktor Leonov, Northumberland is hoping to keep the Russian spy ship out of range. He's just off our start of a quarter at the moment, so I'm just going to turn inside. Half head, both engines, revolution, 6-5. The AGI is still pointing north. That'll mean AGI will hold off on our port quarter. Now the Russians are at a safe distance. The coast is clear to launch the jets. Launching two squadrons of jets for the very first time, this is the Navy's most important exercise in over a decade. It's success for the ship as a team that we did that. We're doing something that will support the UK. We're actually doing something worthwhile. The Russians didn't get too close. That she might have been a danger to the jets or a danger to the aircraft carrier. We interposed ourselves and made sure that she didn't get that close. We serve our country as part of a team. And yes, there is responsibility, but that's the way that goes. Just take a little bit off and then you're right. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's home made, not short ball. Beautiful. With the phone ban still in force, it's been nearly 48 hours since Sahil last spoke to his mum. My mum just went to go surgery and um, just not knowing what's going on. It's hard. I'm wondering if she's OK. Sometimes when I'm feeling to patch in bed, I just feel like, yeah, what am I doing here? I've never, like, been without my phone for that, like, this long. Halfway through his shift, Sahil's been told to report to the Ewo's cabin. Some people have noticed you've gone a bit insular in the mess. When you joined, you were a right smiley guy. Everybody instantly, ah, Jesse, he's all right. And then you just kind of went inside a bit, and that's fine. 
Well, I'm not saying you can't do that. I do that, that sometimes. Like, and that's fine. Yeah. And as, as long as people know that's your coping mechanism. And if you do feel a little bit weird, don't worry about it. Everybody copes with things in different ways. However you're feeling, doesn't mean you're weak, doesn't mean you're rubbish at your job, doesn't make you any less of a sailor. If you're finding it a little bit hard, have a talk with somebody. Right. I know it's going to be quite hard this uh, trip, isn't it? No, it's going to be it's quite hard. Really hard. You all right? All happy with that? Yes. All right. All right, thank you, sir. No pros. You know where I am if you need it. I remember my first ship. I, I really wondered what the hell was going on. I think I did about 38 countries on, on my first ship. It's difficult. You know, this is the lot of, of a serviceman. I'd call as soon as we get back, our SIM cards. I'm just like, trying my best to stay focused and continue doing my job. Northumberland is shadowing the Victor Leonov off the east coast of Scotland. But the captains just received news of a new dangerous threat that's about to change their plans. Good afternoon, North London, Connie Officer speaking. We've been formally activated. Our tasking is to the far north. So you need to make sure that you're prepared and ready. Uh, that is all. Thank you very much. Northumberland is one of the few ships in the Navy capable of hunting for enemies on the surface and underwater. Come on, Ups. Hi, sir. So we've had some intelligence come in. There's a mission in the offing. And it's quite high stakes. Russian submarines are coming from over here. So we uh, have been directed to head up north. Yes, sir. Their bases are up here in Molansk, which is the very far north of Russia, and they'll come over somewhere into the northern Atlantic this way. Northumberland's orders are to find the Russian submarines and keep them out of British waters. Aye, sir. I'll wait that. So, HP. Please, sir. Yes, please. Thank you very much. They must now leave HMS Queen Elizabeth and the other British ships behind. Steering at 235, speed 8, max possible 28. It's DBI DC state 3, condition X-ray. They're trying to assert ownership over the ocean. And like any schoolyard bully, if you don't stop them, they'll take and take and take. So let us go north. Finding the Russian submarines is now top priority. We find ourselves where the threat against the UK is probably the highest ever. So we need to make sure that we can defend our homeland. Next time. Every time we hit a wave, we're up against it. Rough seas flood the ship. Uh, how do we keep on top of it? Oh, wow. Awesome. Northumberland <laughs> enters the Arctic Circle. There we are! We're in the Arctic! Absolutely <laughs> stunning. <laughs> We've got it. Good timing, that. And the hunt for Russian submarines intensifies. Confirm contact bearing 144. Possible dangerous submarine contact. We're side by side with submarine guys at about 4,000 yards.